Greetings! This is a short presentation that talks about heat safety. Heat safety is an extremely important topic for anyone living in Arizona. I'm Ken Drews from the National Weather Service in Tucson, Arizona. Arizona is one of the hottest places on Earth. As such, the number one weather-related killer in Arizona is heat. Let's look at some statistics associated with the effects of hot weather. Nearly 800 people are admitted to hospitals for heat-related illnesses every year. These heat-related medical conditions can be fatal. Almost 1,500 deaths were attributed to heat exposure in Arizona from 1992 through 2009, which averages out to over 80 deaths per year as a result of heat. Obviously, it's important that we take proper precautions for this deadly weather hazard. Here are several simple rules for staying safe in hot weather. The first rule is to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. People outdoors should drink one to two liters of water per hour. A person doing strenuous activity can lose four liters of fluids per hour, which is essentially a gallon per hour. A body cools itself by sweating, but can't perform that critical function when dehydrated. Dehydration is a frequent cause of heat-related illnesses. Continuing with the simple list for staying safe in the heat, the next most important action is to stay indoors when possible. As with any hazardous weather, staying indoors is always best, but if you must be outside, dress for the heat. Wear lightweight, light-colored clothing. Light colors help reflect away some of the sun's energy. A good idea is to also wear a hat or use an umbrella and use sunscreen on any exposed skin. Eat small meals and avoid foods that are high in protein. High protein foods increase the metabolic heat your body generates. Slow down and avoid strenuous activity. If you exercise outside, do it early in the morning, between 4 and 7 a.m. when temperatures are cooler. Finally, take regular breaks if you are engaged in physical activity. So far, we've talked about things to do for remaining safe in extreme heat. Just as important as what to do is what not to do. The best advice is don't wait until you're thirsty before drinking water. Usually, by the time your body tells you it's thirsty, you are already becoming dehydrated. Avoid using salt tablets unless directed to do so by a physician. Most people get enough salt in the food they normally eat. Avoid alcohol and caffeine, which can dehydrate the body. And finally, remember not to leave children and pets unattended in vehicles. Temperatures rise rapidly in closed vehicles and conditions can become fatal in a matter of minutes. The National Weather Service issues two types of alerts when excessive heat conditions are expected. Excessive heat conditions are above and beyond the typical hot weather experienced in Arizona. An excessive heat watch is issued up to four days in advance of extremely hot weather. This advance notice allows people to make adjustments to their activities and take precautions prior to the hot weather occurring. An excessive heat warning means conditions are likely to occur and occur within the next three days or are already present. A warning implies people should limit their exposure to these hazardous temperatures. If you would like additional information on weather safety, please check our webpage at weather.gov Tucson or the National Weather Service heat safety page listed in this slide. Additional monsoon safety information can be found at monsoonsafety.org. You can also find the National Weather Service on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Be sure to drink lots of fluids this summer. Take care, be safe, and stay cool.